I've owned this U50 now for just over a year, and I want to share with you some of my thoughts with it. Let's get it unloaded and take a look. So this U50-5 replaces the U48-4, um, this one is a 2021, it's just over 4.9 tonne and it's done 600 hours. This one is fitted with a white uh, hydraulic quick hitch um, and I had three buckets with it, the grade in, the two foot and one foot. Under the bonnet, we've got the three cylinder diesel engine. It's 29 kilowatts, 40 horsepower. Got the DPF regenerative exhaust on it. Just at its first service. On this side, this cover. This is actually one thing I'm not so sure about. It does seem a bit vulnerable. You can see a customer has already put a dent in it here, very kindly. Um, just where all the Hydraulics are obviously. Uh, you've got the radiators over here, pretty accessible, easy to clean, that is good. Hydraulic tank, needs some oil in it. Um, hydraulic block, battery, it's, it's all, it is all pretty accessible. My only concern on this side is the tin, uh, which does seem a bit vulnerable. But other than that, so far so good. So, coming inside, let's take a look. First door, door, door latch clip. It does stick out a tiny bit, but not too much um, for a zero tail swing. That's not bad. We have um, good rubber mats, which are fairly easy to take out and clean, which you have to do regularly in the higher game. Nice tidy look, standard controls, what have we got over here? This is one thing that annoys me. Every time you switch it on, you get a deafening siren. Nice LCD display, which they all the manufacturers seem to be going to today. Um, it's got loads of different options. Press this one. What have we got down here? Messages, change all the auxiliary settings. That is really good. All sorts of flow settings you can change when you're doing, uh, having different implements on the front, which is handy. Any messages? Now, log record is something actually I use quite a bit. Um, you can tell how much it's been used by the customer. Um, or how much you used it even. So you can, let's go back to December. I can see the beginning of December it was not used very much at all. Uh, it was used last week. We go, you can see last week, Monday, it's used for four hours. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, wasn't used at all. Friday, Saturday. Um, so when a customer says, oh, I only used it on three days. And you can go and look back and see how much it's been used. That's very handy.
oh, another thing on here I will show you. Let check. You can see uh, each item how long before it needs to be serviced. I scroll through them. When they're to be checked next, and how many hours before you need to do it. So, yeah, that's very handy. It's one thing you didn't get on the dash for. I think so sophisticated as that. Uh, this one is not fitted with aircon. It's your bucket release on this one. Yeah, it's all pretty straightforward. Nice to use. One thing this digger has on that the um, dash four didn't is these safety check valves for the dipper arm and the boom um, safety valves. Stop it dropping, so you've got a few extra pipes. Um, a bit more vulnerable, but at the same time, it's safer, obviously. This one is going very slightly rusty on the front. Something I have to ask the dealer about this week. I'm not sure if that's just the type of work it's been in. There isn't anywhere else that it's rusty. Uh, there is a tiny bit just down there. But other than that, that seems to be okay, but Yeah, that is a bit annoying, I must admit. So hopefully, the dealer will do something about that, because, yeah, that is a bit of a shame. The only pipe I've had go on it is one of these hydraulic quick-release pipes. I think it just got folded up and damaged. Uh, that's a bit of a pain. Other than that, I've had no breakages on it whatsoever. So overall, I'd say I'm very happy with it. Um, my only concern, I mentioned before, uh, is the tin around the outside. Uh, for the higher end industry, that does seem a little bit vulnerable. Uh, if you were driving yourself uh, all the time, it wouldn't be quite so bad. But other than that, yeah, very good. Uh, if you've watched this far, thank you very much. Thank you for watching. Um, subscribe, maybe. Uh, like if you liked it. Um, and I'll try and do some more videos of other machines that are coming up to a year old I've just had. So stay tuned. Cheers. Bye.